Um, Professor Wasco's PhD degree is from the University of Illinois. Um, she's been a faculty member at Oregon for 23 years, both in telecommunications and film and in journalism and communication. As most of you know, she has an international reputation for her scholarship on the political economy of media with a focus on film and on issues related to democracy and media. She has authored or co-authored or edited or co-edited 18 books, um, including, for instance, Understanding Disney, The Manufacture of Fantasy, and How Hollywood Works. She has also advised and taught countless graduate students, many of whom are in the audience today. I note that um, Professor Wasco's accomplishments were recently honored in two significant ways. Um, she was selected to give the keynote address at a University of Illinois doctoral alumni reunion. Um, and just a couple weeks ago, the Office of the Vice President for Research selected her as a winner of a pre prestigious 2010 Research Innovation Award, along with two others on our faculty. I will now turn the podium over to um, Professor Wasco to introduce our speaker and to moderate the remainder of this event. So, Jana Wasco. Thank you. I've never had such an elaborate introduction to be an introducer, or as an introducer, but anyway. Um, thank you all for attending today. Um, it, it's, it's really a pleasure to welcome you here, and also to welcome Professor Murdoch to the University of Oregon School of Journalism Communication. Uh, and it's a pleasure to introduce his presentation tonight, this afternoon, maybe. Um, but I wonder, I, I, I'm thinking about this, just think about it. I came all the way from Britain. Was it really necessary to bring him all this way to endure all this weather? Of course, he's used to it. Uh, and to meet with us here tonight. After all, can't we find out quite a lot about him, his ideas, so forth, through a lot of his work, his publications, his writing, many of you are familiar with it. And given the vast amount of information we have access to by way of the internet these days, it would seem we could find out quite a lot about him without him having to be here. What can we find out about Professor Murdoch on the internet? Well, I spent a while, and first of all, of course, Googled him. Uh, if you s Google Graham Murdoch and spell it correctly, um, with a K, not with an H, you find that he is the reader in the sociology of culture in the Department of Social Sciences at Loughborough University in the UK. You can find that before moving to Loughborough, he taught at the University of Leicester, where he was a leading member of the pioneering Center for Mass Communication Research. You can find a description of him that says he has written widely on the social and cultural organization and impacts of established and emerging media, as well as on the press and television coverage of terrorism, riots, and other political events, as well as on the feature of broadcasting. We could go on and on and on. In fact, it's surprising his work is quite vast and varied, but he's probably still best known for his work on the critical political economy of communication. Well, go to another site on the internet, Amazon.com, and you find that he's written, co-written, or edited at least 11 books. Uh, there, there are more, I'm sure, but they include, uh, I, I, it's, we really need to shorten this, so I won't read all of them, but uh, most recently, The Media and the Age of Marketization, one of my favorites, um, Television Across Europe, Researching Communications, A Practical Guide to Methods in Media and Cultural Analysis, and so forth. If you dig deeper, you'd find that he's contributed to contributed numerous papers, articles, chapters to a wide range of journals and book collections. If you really keep digging, you can get a sense of his international activities and reputation. First of all, his work has been translated into somewhere, I saw, uh, the number of 19 languages. He's currently the external an external professor at the Institute of Mass Communication at the University of Bergen in Norway. He's been visiting professor at UC San Diego, Free University of Brussels, uh, and Stockholm University. 
He's also, you can find on the internet, a uh, former head of the political economy section of the International Association of Media and Communication Research. Well, as I looked further, I thought, well, I wonder if he has a Wikipedia page. Not yet. <laughs> uh, but we did, I did find him on Facebook. And some interesting details come out there. He's educated at Shooters Hill Grammar School, London School of Economics, and Sussex University. His birthday was last Saturday. <laughs> he received numerous birthday greetings on his Facebook site, many of them from people all over the world. There's also on his site evidence of his extensive international travels, including some stunning photos from China, which are just really impressive, as well as photos of him giving hints of his predilection towards rather colorful suits and ties. Can we find other images of Professor Murdoch? Perhaps some moving images? I, I thought, well, okay, well, let's see if he's, is he on YouTube. Well, there was a Graham Murdoch video on YouTube. It's called Plans for the Night. Quote, Dan and Graham try to decide what the hell to do on a boring Saturday night at Atco, New Jersey. It's Dan Borelli and Graham Murdoch, plans for the night. <laughs> Didn't look like you, so I'm thinking you're not on YouTube. Uh, I did actually find, though, a lecture um, they had done, I believe, at the University of Mexico on Google Video. So, okay, so you can actually get, a, actually get a lecture online from Professor Murdoch. Isn't this enough? I mean, we have a lot of information about him already from these sources. But I hope that you will agree with me that it is an advantage to actually meet him face to face here tonight as he shares with us his analysis of the current state of the Internet and the return of the gift economy. Indeed, this opportunity to hear his thoughts on the internet and the gift economies is in many ways a gift for us. Please join me in welcoming Professor Murdoch to the University of Oregon. Thank you. Well, that's going to be a, a very hard act to follow. I scarcely recognize the person described in uh, that uh, immensely generous welcome. Um, I would like to thank uh, everybody here who's made this lecture possible and to say that it, it's a great honor to be asked to give the inaugural lecture in this series. This is a, a moment in history where communications is more central to the ways we live than perhaps it's ever been. And it's a moment in history where the communication system is undergoing uh, rapid and far-reaching changes, uh, many of which we can only glimpse at this moment in time. I think we're just on the edge of something quite profound. But one of the problems with a lot of the writing on communication, and particularly the writing on the internet, is that it really assumes that things started with the World Wide Web. Um, I want to argue that to understand what situation we find ourselves in now, we have to retrieve some history. Because I want to argue that the internet is a site uh, of struggle between different principles of communication and what I will call different moral economies, um, which have long histories, but which have come together in a particularly concentrated way in the internet. And it's that struggle between those different principles that I want to uh, try and outline for you tonight.